We have received several calls during the spring of 2014 regarding the rebuilding of a pressure washer pump that had been leaking water for some time and the water had eventually made its way back into the crankcase and contaminated the oil resulting in a pump failure. We felt a short video would help explain what happens when the oil is contaminated. Today we received this 1500A pressure washer in for evaluation and it has the telltale signs and is a good example of oil contamination. The model 1500A is cam spray's entry level pressure washer. It's powered by a 2 horsepower 120 volt motor that drives a triplex plunger pump with ceramic plungers and stainless valves. This small powerful pressure washer produces 2 gallons per minute at 1450 psi and is very popular in the automotive detail and screen printing industry. When operating any pressure washer we recommend to check the oil level in the pump prior to every operation and make sure you fix oil leaks or water leaks should there be any before operating the machine. We recently received this in our service department for repair and a quick glance of this machine and a quick glance of the oil sight glass will show you that the oil is contaminated. That milky white color is a telltale sign of oil contamination. This is the color the oil should be. Between the manifold and the pump, the crankcase has an open air section. That open air section allows water to come out of the water seals and be vented down the inside of the manifold. We also have an open air area in front of the plunger rods. That open area should allow oil leaks to be vented as well. This particular machine had water leaking for some period of time, an extended period of time, that actually helped the plungers draw that water back into the crankcase. You will notice on the manifold this white discoloration. The white discoloration is from calcium buildup left by the water that was leaking. You will also see that same calcium buildup on the inside of the black crankcase. The other thing we do when these come in is to test to see if we've got in play in the connecting rods. On this particular connecting rod, you will see that it slides back and forth. That sliding back and forth is a worn connecting rod journal on the crankcase. With that excessive wear, it's only a matter of time the crankcase will fail. Removing the back crankcase cover, we can see exactly how poor this oil is. We know in, in a lot of cases this machine could probably have new oil seals put in it, new water seals and put back together, but it will have a very short life. Repair of this machine would include new seals, connecting rods, connecting rod pins, crankshaft, and piston guides. The cost of the repair is $480 and the labor involved would be about three hours to rebuild, test, and prepare for shipment. Depending on service center labor rates in your area, the total cost to repair will between, be between $580 and $700. Many of our customers facing this decision come to the conclusion if they can buy this machine for around $700 that it's better off to replace the machine. Bottom line, remember to follow the instructions on the operator's manual. Change the oil after the first 50 hours of use and change the oil every year for light use and several times a year for use that exceeds 10 hours a week. Check the oil levels and check for water leaks and make repairs prior to every use and your pressure washer will give you hours of trouble-free service.